Hey, welcome. Welcome in or welcome back to Sound Wisdom Tarot with me, Shannon Rose Scott, here to give my air signs, my Gemini's, Libra's, and Aquarius viewers a full moon reading for this super moon. Okay, a full moon reading for my air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Mm, you are the thinkers, the dreamers, the change makers through your new thought. You are on the leading edge of thought, air signs. And for this full moon, I invite you to check out not only your sun sign placement, which shows like how you show yourself, how you show up for the world, but also your rising sign, who you really are underneath all that as well as your moon sign, your emotional world, and, and your Venus sign, your love style. All right, and now if you don't know what those placements are, I'm dropping a, a link in the description box below as to how to find them, okay? And if you happen to have double or triple or quadruple placements in the same sign, like for example, I'm a Gemini rising, and a Gemini Venus, so I've got double air energy. Uh huh. Uh, I'm also a Leo Sun and a Capricorn Moon. For those who are interested, hey, drop in the comments, in yeah, in the comments below, what your placements are. I'd love to know because the more you actually comment, even with if it's just an emoji, the more I can tune into your energy for future readings. And hey, I want to do more future readings for you, air signs. And if I get enough likes, comments, and subscribers, I'll start doing like individual, individual Capricorn. Nope, sorry, Aquarius. Individual Libras, individual Geminis for these full moon and new moon readings. But for now, let's get into it. Boom, okay, so we got cards jumping out already for you air signs. Air signs, my Geminis, Libras, and Aquarius. Full moons are all about releasing, releasing, letting go. So for this full moon, super moon, extra potent reading, I'll be taking a look at where the death card happens to land in the deck. Death card, the ultimate card of release. And then finding what's before or after. And I'm use, using the Osho Zen Tarot deck. Zen for you air signs, for you thinkers. But I'd like to start with an overall message from the Moonology deck. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get into this. Here we go. Spirit guides, high divine, intergalactical beings, and angel guides. Please help me connect to the spirit guides of my air signs tuning in for this reading. What does Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra need to know. What does Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra need to know this full moon? What is the most important message for them at this time? This full moon cycle, this energy is the most potent the few days before and the few days after, as well as this whole, this reading is for this whole moon cycle. So until the next full moon. Okay, I'll take the top card. You are very close to achieving your goal, air signs. Yes. You are very close to achieving your goal, so don't stop. Don't stop yet, okay? You are very close. Don't give up. And when we see the rest of this reading, we'll get more information because you are very close to achieving your goal. So here we go. Where's the death card? Okay. So a little tarot teaching here as I find the death card. The death card is never a card of predicting death for yourself or others, okay? That's not what it means. That's a misconception. The death card is not a scary card. In fact, it's, it's instead a, a, a card just helping you realize what it is you can let go of, what you need to stop. It's the death of a cycle a death of a behavior, a death of a thought pattern, a death of a stage of life, perhaps. 
And sometimes it does like illuminate that there already was a death in your environment. That you may have already lost somebody, but it doesn't predict death, okay? It just illuminates. Wow, interesting. <laughs> this is so fascinating. Okay, your cards have shown up. See, I love the Osho Zen Tarot decks version of the death card because they don't even call it death, they call it transformation. Because that's all death is, it's a transformation, a rebirth. It's like the butterfly, right? The caterpillar has to go into its cocoon and dissolve. And to anybody who didn't understand what was happening, it would look like the caterpillar died, but instead it transforms into a beautiful creature, the butterfly. And that's all death is, it's a transformation. So what you get to transform This full moon, this super moon air signs is creativity. That's an interesting card to be, to get in the release placement. So you are releasing creativity. in order to bring in change. And then you also had a, a little jumper come out when I was shuffling, do you remember that? The jumper was the queen of fire, sharing in the Osho Zen Tarot deck. So the story I'm picking up here for my air signs is that you're releasing some sort of old creative pursuit that no longer serves you in order to bring in change. in order to bring in some new passion, some new passion that you'd like. So you've got a goal that you're so close to achieving. The queen of fire, the sharing card, she is like often an entrepreneur and she is full of like, mm, passionate energy, sometimes like, um, I have to be careful what I say on YouTube, um, <laughs> passionate, like extra adult romantic energy, right? So she's like super like sexy and sexual and very like passionate, very driven, but in a sharing way, in a very open way where her passion like inspires others. And I think this is the goal that you're wanting to move towards. Now the Empress is sometimes the mother, right? She's the mother. She's, she's birthing something. And because you're releasing that, it's, it's almost to me like so, so I feel like there's two, two messages, two different messages for two different groups. One group I said is, is actually leaving some sort of old creative pursuit in order to start a new one. So maybe you've, you've gotten the most out of some, some creative thing you were doing and you really want to move towards something else, but you've been kind of holding yourself back because it's like, ah, oh, but but I've been doing this, you know, and I've, I've achieved the Empress card. This is the Empress card of creativity. The Empress card is like all four Queens, 
queen of fire, but also queen of water, queen of cups, queen of swords, queen of the thoughts, and queen of pentacles, money. So it's like you've already achieved something. You've done enough with this one path. And now it's, it's time to release that so that you can start a new passion, a new passion. Whereas for others of you, I feel like you're releasing the, the birthing stage of it, right? Because the empress is, is actually pregnant. So it's like you've gone through the pregnancy, whether it's an actual pregnancy. So, so some of you, this could actually be that you were, you, you've, you've been pregnant and you're like really close to, to achieving it. <laughs> okay. Um, but, but it's also like the birthing of a, an, a creative project, the birthing of a creative idea. And so for some of you, you're not actually totally releasing that. You're just releasing the birthing stage of it, the pregnancy stage of it, the pregnancy and birthing stage. And you get to transform that into super change, right? Where it's actually here, where the actual baby is here or the baby of the idea is here. And then you're thrust into change. Thrust into change where everything's different. Because before it was just an idea, a thing that was growing, a person or thing that was growing. And now it's like it's here and, and the whole life changes, but you now get to share it. So what was before was something that was just growing, being nurtured, coming to life. Now you get to share it. And for that storyline, for those of you who actually need to let go of the old, that need to let this old creative idea transform, let it change now into something new because it's going to fill you and everyone else around you with inspiration. And this is definitely a sign that like spirit really wants you now. If, if you've just been sitting in that, mm, okay, I'm getting another storyline. Okay, so, so some of you, again, are, are actually having to release an old way of being creative in order to create something brand new. But others of you, yeah, need to stop just focusing on how to make the creative project happen and start sharing it. Like, let yourself change. So it's like, it's like the person that like just keeps rewriting draft after draft after draft of their book. Now it's time to like publish it, share it. Some people who have this idea that have been nurturing this idea of a new, maybe YouTube channel or, um, uh, photography or music or something it's time to start sharing it right so if you've been like oh i gotta perfect that song i've got to perfect that art piece no you gotta start sharing it getting it out there okay stop the nurturing stage only where you're just like growing the idea and let it evolve let it transform into the sharing stage because once you start doing that even before it's perfect even before it's perfect. That's what's actually going to lead you to achieving your goal. You cannot wait for it to be perfect to share it. You gotta start sharing it. And the sharing of it is what's going to lead you to actually achieving this goal. Yeah, like, if you're a singer, a poet, a musician, an artist, sometimes a writer, right? Any of those creative pursuits, whatever it might be, creative cooking, creative uh, d fashion design, jewelry making, right? Whatever it might be, you can spend way too long just in that creative stage. That's why you got to release it, right? You got, right? But you can spend so long there because you like, you, you just keep thinking, oh, it's not good enough yet. It's not good enough yet. And so you don't share it. But you'll never get good enough until you start sharing it. 
I know when I first, I mean, it's not like I'm like, I'm not huge or anything yet. Uh, but when I first started like making videos, like, oh, <laughs> I like, I was so scared to share them because they weren't very good. <laughs> But it was only by actually sharing them that I got better. So share, you've got so much to share and by sharing, you will achieve your goal. You're so very close. You're so very, very close to achieving it. Don't stop now. In fact, take it to the next level. Okay, so let's get, that's a pretty obvious message. But I do, I wanna know what are your storylines? What, what was your storyline? So if you would comment below, like which, which one of those was yours? Okay, is it something, is it an old creative pursuit that you're leaving and moving on to something totally new? Or was it like the birthing stage that you're having to leave um, to, to share the new? Or are you actually having a child? I wanna know, I wanna know, I'm a little nosy. Let me know in the comments section. And again, that really helps me tune into your energy. Even if all you want to do is just drop a little emoji or a secret code. <laughs> I still get to like tune into your energy that way. If you haven't already hit that like button, can you please rock that like button for me? Ooh, hit the notification bell. Make sure you've subscribed because I want to keep offering these readings and even more, more specific. But to close this out, to close out your final message from spirit for my air signs, for my Gemini's, Libras and Aquarius is that this is a time for healing. So by releasing that creative stage and moving into the sharing stage, by releasing the old creative project to change it into the new passion project, you will heal through that. That process is healing. Creativity is definitely a healing process. Sharing is a healing process. You get to heal the old wounds of like not being good enough. You get to heal the old wounds of of not allowing yourself to follow your creative heart pursuits. It's a beautiful chance by you creating, changing and sharing. You're healing not only yourself, but others, all those that you share your work with, that you share your creativity with, you get to help heal them too. So air signs, thank you so much for tuning in. Spirit, thank you for helping me deliver the message. You know what to do. And until next time, keep tuning into your inner wisdom.